watching Plain Speak with me, Poonam Burde. Bengal government seems to be on the back foot today. Two cases, two high-profile ones at that, put the Bamta Banerjee government in the door. Both by jolts that were handed out by the Calcutta High Court. In a case of the attack on the NIA officials in Bhupati Nagar and the consequent FIR that was filed against those officials for alleged molestation, the court ruled that no coercive steps would be taken by the state just yet which means those NIA officials cannot be arrested by the police until the next hearing at the very least. On the other hand, Calcutta High Court transferred all Sandesh Kali cases to the CBI. These include allegations of sexual assault, of extortion, of land grab in that area. In both those cases, the TMC had questioned the intent of the agencies, both the NIA and the CBI. They claimed that these cases were politically motivated, the agencies were acting at the behest of the BJP and the central government. But does that argument hold water? Is casting aspersions on agencies and on the court an escape route for the ruling TMC? Well, the BJP seems to think so because they've upped the ante against the state government, accusing them of shielding culprits. From Shah Jah Sheikh in Sandesh Khali to Manavrata Jana in uh, Bhupati Nagar. Union Home Minister Amit Shah led the attack on the TMC during one of his rallies in Bengal today. But will that narrative resonate? Is this the plank the BJP hopes to better its Bengal tally on? Or will it just remain a mere rhetoric? Before we open that up, let's take a look at some of the facts of the case and what's happened so far. First up, let's take a look at what the Calcutta High Court had said while transferring the Sandesh Kali cases to the CBI. The High Court had observed and they said while transferring the probe to the CBI that uh, the investigative agency will open an online platform to take complaints related to Sandesh Kali. This was a big setback that came to the West Bengal government because the High Court then ordered that the CBI will be at liberty to question any rank officer irrespective. The High Court further stated that the CBI investigation will happen under its monitoring. So the TMC may cast aspersions on uh, the CBI probe, but the High Court is going to keep an eye on what happens. The report will have to be submitted back to the High Court. The High Court also added that more CCTVs and LEDs have to be installed in the area. That needs to be done by the local administration expeditiously. They can uh, do away with the tender process, but they has to be done in the near future. Protection to Sandesh Kali victims and CBI officers probing the cases has also now been ordered by the High Court. The High Court ordered that all Sandesh Kali cases be investigated by the CBI. But what are these cases that we're talking about? Remember, some other cases were already being uh, investigated by the CBI in the past. One of the cases that uh, they will now be investigating are the cases that relate to TMC's former strongman, Shah Jahan Sheikh. He was arrested in March this year, remember. Number, case number two that the CBI is now going to be investigating is all cases, not just against Shah Jahan Sheikh, but his aides, Shibu Hazra and Uttam Sardar as well. They were arrested in February this year. They are behind bars now. There are sexual assault cases and allegations that were filed against Sheikh Jahan and his aides. Those will be probed by the CBI as well. All land grab and land conversion cases in Sandesh Khali will also be under the ambit of the CBI investigation. Now that's just one aspect of it. On the other side, the TMC and uh, the NIA seem to be on a collision course. The state government and the investigating agency were on a war path inside the courtroom as well today at the Calcutta High Court. Let me break down for you what the arguments were. The NIA argued that the letter to raid uh, was given to the police on the 6th of April at 4.30 a.m. We're talking about uh, the case in Bhupati Nagar. Remember, this was the 2022 blast that the NIA was investigating, for which they were raid conducting raids there. That is when they came under attack. The state police countered that allegation. They said that they first received a call by the NIA team of being geared out at about 6.20 a.m. So what happened in those two hours is what the uh, police is trying to put the lens on. The NIA alleged that the accused of Bhupati Nagar blast case was arrested on Saturday, one and a half hours after the raid. The state police said that they received a counter FIR the same day, but almost 12 hours later at 6.45 pm by Manobrata Jana's wife and allegations were made of molestation against the NIA team that was there. The NIA referred to the complaint made by the wife of the accused and called it malified intent. The police, however, said that they initiated a case based on the complaint as they should have. NIA claimed that the medical uh, reports and the medical uh, checkup of Manubrata Jana was ruled uh, that had ruled out any sort of injury to him. The state government and the police, meanwhile, argued that the FIR stated that there was an assault by the NIA officers during the raid that was conducted. The agency also argued that they face opposition wherever they conduct raids. Remember, similar things have happened to another agency in the past as far as Sandesh Khali is concerned. 
The state in its argument before the Calcutta High Court today mentioned that the FIR by Manobrata Jana's wife mentioned that the NIA officers and the team vandalized their properties during raid and it wasn't really the resistance to the NIA. That is something that the state government went on record to put. Now we're seeing war of words between the TMC and the BJP over this. The political fallout is there for everyone to see. We are in election season. But this twin setback or the twin blow that has come to the fore for the TMC government, in the light of all that, is the TMC right in questioning the intent of the agencies and casting aspersions even before the probe is over? We take that out to our guest tonight. संदेश खाली के गुनेगारों को लिए आप बचा रही हो मगर पूरे बंगाल की माताएं बहनें ये देख रही है जान गई है कि आप संदेश खाली के गुनेगारों के साथ इसकी जांच हाई कोर्ट ने एनआईए को दी और ममता दीदी एनआईए पर केस रजिस्टर कर कर बम ब्लास्ट करने वालों को बचाना चाहती है ईडी सीबीआई इनकम टैक्स एनआईएर मत संस्था के बीजेपी जो राजनैतिक टुल हिसाब से व्यवहार कर Joining me on this broadcast, spokesperson of the TMC, Riju Datta, Priyanka Tibrewal, spokesperson of the BJP. Vikram Singh, former DGP, joins us, senior journalist Shikha Mukherjee with us as well. Let me open this up by asking spokesperson of the TMC, Riju Datta, uh, two high court orders that came to the fore, uh, both not very, uh, seeing the TMC very kindly, not very favorable to the TMC. How do you respond? Uh, can't care less. We have utmost respect for the court of law. In Sandesh Kali, the Trinamool Congress and Mamta Banerjee did the needful. She, does, she has done a Raj Dharam. All the accused are behind bars and probably the chief accused, Sheikh Shahjan, is in ED custody. So they will transfer him to CBI custody. See, they try to keep this pot boiling. Let them do it irrespective. The court, in all its wisdom, has given a judgment. And they let them do whatever is needed. The administration will answer it in the court. Uh, TMC has no further comments on Sandesh Kali. Now, the second part that you asked me about the NIA, we have already furnished enough evidence to prove that our SP rank officer of the NIA, Mr. Dhanram Singh, has we alleged that he has accepted bribe from BJP uh, with a list of leaders for Trinamool uh, leaders that he has gone and arrested. And that is why the NIA has called him to Delhi for further questioning. And we are moving the Supreme Court also for that. And it is, uh, it is no new thing to anybody in this country that all the central independent agencies which had tremendous respect in the eyes of the common people have been saffronized, have been compromised and now they are working as the lapdogs of the BJP to give them political dividends. Unfortunate, very unfortunate. Priyanka Tibrewal, all agencies are compromised, says uh, the TMC and that's an allegation most other parties within the India Alliance bloc also make. देखिए आई वुड से इसमें आपका घाटा मेरा कुछ नहीं जाता दिस इज फॉर रिजू दत्ता नो सी वॉट एवर दे वर सेंग और ब्लैबरिंग वॉट अल्टीमेटली हैपन वेन आई वेंट टू दी कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ वेन आई प्लेस्ड ऑन रिकॉर्ड दी एफिडेविट्स ऑफ वेमेन फ्रॉम संदेश खाली वॉट इज द कंक्लूजन ऑफ द इंटायर थिंग सी द कोर्ट इन इट्स ऑर्डर हैज स्पेल्ड एंड सेड दैट यू नो दे आर कन्विंस्ड दैट देर इज प्राइम ऑफ एस आई मटीरियल अवेलेबल फॉर अ फुल फ्लेज इंक्वायरी दे वेंट टू दी एक्सटेंट ऑफ स्टेटिंग दैट यू नो इन ऑर्डर Uh, to work for the people in order to work for the interest of justice and that there is a fair play expeditious consideration of various complaints and allegations and an impartial inquiry they use the word impartial inquiry because the allegations here were not just against people like shah jahan and his aide but also against the police also against the administration also against the blr officers also against the sdp officers because they were all involved in this land grabbing scam they said we have arrested shah jahan we have arrested shah jahan what have you done it is not a single case that is what the court has seen that there are multiple cases multiple complaints but no actions were taken hmm. can you imagine right now also there are aids of shah jahan roaming in sandesh kali on the motorbike 
and telling people that we will behead you and play football with your head now this is the same thing which i spoke before the court of law that is the reason that the court has handed over the investigation to the cbi and it has told all the officers you know for the first time i see in an order it has been specifically spelled stating that the district magistrate the sp of the uh, particular area mm. all the administrative officers all of you have to cooperate in this investigation not just that it has gone to the extent of saying that all kind of protections should be given to the victims and the witnesses because the court is also convinced that what kind of foul play does tmc do in west bengal now my friend was talking about nia and he tried you know to shift the track by saying that what happened who are the people no that is not the question the question here today is that your police who leveled allegations against the nia officers by saying that they went to rape and molest women what has the court said today they have they have told that this police will not be able to arrest any of the nia officers so you see there there a clean picture there is a clean picture that mamata won banerji wants to save guard the people who are actually criminals because they are providing her the vote bank they are the people who are looting the votes for her so it doesn't matter if women are raped it doesn't matter if people are murdered or killed she will rather blame the agency she will rather blame the personnel who are investigating into it but but will not arrest the criminals Rishi Dada, this is an allegation Union Home Minister Amit Shah also made while he was addressing uh, a rally in uh, Bengal, where uh, just a few days away before the first vote is cast, Bengal is going to be voting in all seven phases uh, in this election. But when we have questions that are being raised of agencies, you did that in the case of ED, you did that in the case of NIA, and now the CBI. But as far as this particular NIA case is concerned, or this particular Sandesh Kali case is concerned, for which the CBI investigation has now been ordered, the court has said that we are going to be monitoring the entire investigation. Uh, so I, again, I said, let the court monitor. Let CBI do an investigation. See, we have nothing against any investigation. Let me say this on record. Mm. The problem here is, why does every opposition party say this? Because if you see from 2014 till 2024, I am giving you numbers: six cases of agencies against BJP leaders, 119 cases against opposition leaders, which is 95%. All the in Bengal, the leader of opposition Shubhendu Adhikari is mentioned in the ED and CBI FIR of Narodan Charoda scam. He is roaming free. He is sitting on the stage with the Honorable Prime Minister and the Home Minister. Whereas opposition leaders have been targeted. He has also been questioned. What, what are the cases? Can I, can Abhishek Banerjee is also roaming free. What are you trying please, to say, Riju Dutta? Can I please finish? Don't speak. Like, like, don't speak. 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 It will not make any Master impact Master because Master see, you see Master what Master is happening Master in the court of law. The court of law is not run by BJP. The judiciary is not run by BJP. Then why, in each and every case, why in each and every case you are pulled by the High Court, you are pulled by the Supreme Court? Why are you getting any relief? Because you have not worked for the people, brother. Rajiv Gandhi and Priyanka Chopraval. Rajiv Gandhi and Priyanka Chopraval. Let's let's try and keep this civil, please. Let's try and keep this civil, please. Let's not let's not. Speak over each other and try and heckle each other. Where everyone's trying to make a point here. I want to get in the other two panelists uh, that are on the debate as well, and uh, I want to get in the journalist on this panel. Miss Mukherjee, we're talking about investigations by central agencies. Now, the opposition has made it very clear that they do not have faith in any of these agencies because they say that all of these agencies are working at the behest of the centre and of the BJP. But let's take the example of West Bengal in itself. The Calcutta High Court, over the last four years, has transferred at least six cases, six high-profile cases, out of the police to the to a central agency. In most cases, the CBI. Many of in many of which cases they've observed that the faith in the police or the system in West Bengal has been shaken, which is why the case is being transferred out. Uh, Poonam, that these are very sensitive issues, and I'm going to take a little bit of your time sure. on this. Number one, uh, yes, the High Court has transferred these cases, but the High Court has also said that it will monitor the case. Now, monitoring process cuts both ways. It cuts. Uh, It 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 is a it is the High Court saying that it will keep a watch on what the CBI does. Now that is itself a rather 
disturbing kind of condition number 1 number 2 i would like to point out that in the case of where these monitorings are done by the high court the high court has also slammed the cbi and the ed for dragging things on not getting to the point not completing its investigation not making a move not making the the kind of progress that is expected in high profile cases of an urgent nature the third thing i would like to say is that you know let's get very clear about the high court monitoring process one of the most high profile cases where this monitoring process was happening was under former former judge obhijit gangopadha who is now in the bjp who is a candidate of the bjp therefore you know all of these things are pointing to something which is extremely concerning no, for all of us please allow me to sure. are, yes brother right here, yes priyanka debrewal let her finish i'll come to and you. need and need a need a kind of impartial and effective system which is an effective institutions which function without the this kind of polit- political color and politicization accusations being hurled at them the nia is involved in issues that are concerning national security the cbi is concerned with very very serious investigations now anything that questions their credibility and this is a systematic questioning that has been going on now for at least 2 to 3 years by the collective opposition is extremely disturbing it is also very concerning i would i would imagine that the home minister is as concerned about it as we are because neither you nor i can feel that we that we are continuously debating this issue which means that there is a problem somewhere sure and oh. and this is a problem that let me just finish uh, uh, give me 5 seconds if this is a problem which is so disturbing because there are allegations in this case which riju that that they actually referred to and that have been that have been making top news in in the local media in kolkata that an nia officer was involved in the meeting with a bjp leader now these are very very unfortunate stories these are very unfortunate if they have happened then it is very unfortunate hmm. because what it does is it it kind of confirms what mamata banerjee has said sure and that is even more disturbing that both level leaders grassroots level organization leaders of the tmc are being uh, identified and picked up by these agencies now that means that you are actually sucking out Political sure so the conduct so the, sure the conduct is under question the conduct is under question is the point you're trying to make priyanka tibrewal you had a quick rebuttal to make before i get yes, in yes, vikram singh as well yes mr tibrewal go ahead this is what happens this, this is what happens when uh, people like uh, shikha mukherjee you know what do they do they try to dilute the stern steps and actions taken by the high court what did she say that you know it is being court monitored let me be clear to her that this was my petition and i requested i prayed before your lordship that this matter has to be court monitored this was my prayer so that the results are you know your we get certain results it is not that they are hanging that is why in the prayer i said that let it be monitored by the court now see the we clearly understand your stand you are speaking about the nia officer and somebody's link with someone but you are not at all speaking about you know the allegations put on the nia officers of molesting women you never spoke about the reporters who went to sandesh khali and then you know the same allegation was leveled against them that they went to molest the people so your concern is we you know well understood i need to get in vikram singh in on this as well we know we're talking about questions being raised uh, we have opposition raising questions about the credibility of central investigating agencies of premier investigations investigating agencies of this country institutions are being eroded as an allegation the opposition makes but the questions that are raised uh, that mar the credibility of uh, our organizations our institutions they cut both ways right if there are allegations that are being made without any substantive proof then that too puts a question mark on the credibility so that's not that's being counterproductive as well wouldn't you say so absolutely poonam ji after the path breaking judgment delivered by the high court today 
I feel there is not much left for me or any of the esteemed panelists to speak out. The fact of the matter is that the West Bengal police and the government have been caught on the wrong foot. And the fact that the High Court monitored investigation has been ordered is because of the fact that the integrity of the investigation and also the priorities should not be watched up. The High Court has gone to a great lengths to say that all cases of Sandesh Khali would go to the CBI. It will be High Court monitored. There will be CCTV. Why? Also protection to the witnesses so that the quality of investigation is not compromised. And also, everybody, the cases in respect of Shah Jahan Sheikh, old cases of Shibu and Uttar sexual assaults and the land grab cases shall also be investigated. How often have we, uh, this is one of the rarest of the rare cases where the High Court has very positively intervened. There is a difference between a speaking High Court order, so elaborate and wild allegations. But I would like to say that it is very that all the central investigating agencies are being assaulted, whether it's the ED, whether it's the CBI, whether it's the NIA. Don't you think that it is extremely, extremely in the rarest of the rare cases? And then to level allegations. I have been in the police for more than 36 years and I know that when you go to difficult areas, such allegations are leveled against to demoralize you, to bring down your morale and also to see that the investigation does not go full steam. This, I feel, would bring back things on the trail. And if Buddy Buddy has any reservations, and uh, as uh, somebody pointed out that the NIA officer was seen hobnobbing with someone, I, my advice to senior officers would be to maintain respectable distance from all those who can possibly be an interested party in the investigation. And if there is a meeting, it has to be in his office, never at the residence. When I say never with a capital N, they should have taken pains to see. And if there was a meeting at the residence, then I feel that there needs to be some kind of sanitization and training of officers not to hobnob with interested parties at the residence. This is just not done. This is a misdemeanor which was best avoided. Now, in such sensitive cases, I do feel that the High Court has come down and come down heavily on all the parties. Therefore, in the interest of expeditious investigation, people should come forward, give their testimony, and those goons who are moving around should faithfully comply with the honorable or High Court's orders, the solemn orders passed by the High Court, apply to everyone, to them, to us, and also without going into further details, I salute the Kolkata High Court, the West Bengal High Court, for coming out with a judgment mm. that will be path-breaking and also a lighthouse for the entire country. But justice sure, in the must interest not of only justice, be done, but That's really it. the most important yes, bit, isn't it, Riju Dutta? It's about justice. It's about the truth coming out. And if the truth is what you say or what the TMC says is then you'll be vindicated when that comes out. But why raise questions before that is out? Let the probe happen. Uh, who Have I ever said, or on your show, did I once say that let, let there not be there any probe? Let the probe be there. How many times I'm asking a question and I'm placing this question in front of your viewers. How many times our National General Secretary Abhishek Banerjee was targeted by ED and CBI? How many times Pradhan Mantri and the Home Minister, I'm, I'm leaving aside all the menials of Mr. Modi and Mr. Shah who's roaming around in Bengal as BJP leaders. Forget them. How many times he was targeted by Pradhan Mantri Modi and Amin Mr. Amit Shah? What did the ED and CBI go and say in the court of law? No proof. Zero proof. Take, for example, the case of Mr. Sanjay Singh. Arrested, put behind bars for six months. Six months a sitting parliamentary is put behind bars. The ED did not oppose his bail. The Supreme Court says, no money trail established, bail granted. So in view of all this, it is these agencies who are bringing their credibility in question. We are not against the probe. We want everybody in Sobhne Shali to get justice. We have thrown Sheikh right. Shahjan out of our party. As soon as he got arrested, we have thrown him out of our party. My question is, why it should be a one-way street? If Shah Shahjan has to be put behind bars, if you are putting behind bars Partho Chatterjee and rightfully... What so, about the compensation? Done, sure. Why not... Sure. Priyanka Debreva, let him just finish. Why not Shubhan Dhodhikari? Why not like a chore like chore of Shubhan Dhodhikari? Sure. Why not Dara and Rane? Sure. It should not, not, it should not be a one-way street. But That's you were right. making... But Riju Dutta, you were trying to make a point that politically the 
allegations that the BJP is making are not being backed by the agency when they are in court. But isn't that the complete opposite of what you're trying to say? You say the agencies behave at the behest of the BJP. But if there is no link between what the BJP is saying and what the ED is saying in court, then there's your proof that the agency perhaps is credible. But anyway, Priyanka Tabrewal, go ahead. No, 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 no. That is what I mean. I just the hope that they don't the mind investigations. Sure, happened, sure, you made your point. I have very limited time. Priyanka Tabrewal, go ahead. That, that's what I'm saying. What happened after the investigation of post-poll violence, when it was proved that there was violence, there was an order of the Honorable Court to pay compensation to these victims, to the state. What happened? They didn't pay anything. That is why a contempt is pending in the High Court before a five judges bench. According to which they should compensate the victims. Now it was proved that there was violence. Why isn't he paying? He is saying that let there be investigation. So every time I have taken up a matter before the court, pay? it Do was proved the that they were on the back foot. It I was did, proved did, did that there was violence. Pass? And no, here also no, it will be proved that, that there were rape, there, there were sexual assault, there was land no, grabbing. No, and no, all government no. will have to pay for inch to inch, for inch to inch, for giving this kind of right to people over there. You will have to pay for that. Be prepared as it is. You say that you all are bankrupt. Your government is bankrupt. Be prepared to pay the compensation. There will be an investigation and you will have to pay the compensation. It doesn't matter how much you steal. The you courts have intervened because like unfortunately it. that's what it has come to. Irrespective of which agency is investigating, justice needs to be meted out and that's really what we want. Irrespective of which agency does that, we do hope that politics aside, everyone, every stakeholder, every single party comes on board with one agenda and that is to ensure justice. On that note, I have to leave it at that. I thank you all for joining us here on this broadcast and sharing your perspective. It's time for a quick break here on this edition of Plain Speak. But on the other side, we have the other big story and the big debate over the Aam Aadmi Party and what its political future would look like amid corruption allegations. Another minister has now quit from the Aam Aadmi Party. What does this mean for us? We'll decode that.